Right, so we're uh, busy putting all the bolts in. The, the side supports, I don't know what to call these, what should we call these uh, pieces of metal? The clamping side supports. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I'm gonna make some clamping side supports today. Right, so I've just been down to the uh, metal stockist and brought a lot of metal. A lot of mild steel to make the deck with for the new dive boat. Good morning YouTube. Right, so I'm just an update on the um, new dive boat build. Um, all those holes, two, well I counted about a hundred holes on the on the boat around the around the flange. But of course there's two two pieces of metal which are five mil thick, so that's 400 holes, plus another hundred holes in the actual glass fibre flange. So that's 500 holes. 500 holes. It's taken me two days, two long days, and I've done it. Finally done it all now. So the uh, the steel aprons are on, um, clamping the flange. Now I can get on with building the actual deck. See how good my mitre cuts are. Not bad. Here we've got the first frame mocked, mocked up. I think that's a term we can use. Mocked. Yeah, it's mocked up, isn't it? Uh, so that's pre-welding. Fuck's sake! Jesus! Hi YouTubers and welcome back to this edition of the Dive Boat Build. Um, I'm Dave from Treasure Divers. You can keep up with us at uh, youtube.com slash treasure divers or our website is treasuredivers.uk. Easy to remember. Your support would really be appreciated. Thank you very much.
but that's not too bad. It's got good penetration. You can tidy it up with the disc sander. It's all right for an amateur. Now we don't always do stuff about building. You know, obviously our main task is treasure diving, so finding stuff at the bottom of the sea. Um, but at the moment we've got to build a dive boat to get to the bottom of the sea so we can find some great stuff for you to see. Right, so we're in the process now of building this dive boat. Um, I am an amateur, so you have to forgive me for some of my welding skills and my fiberglassing skills. But uh, at the end of the day, that's what it is. It's an amateur build. So take from that what you will. I'd like to thank Chucky2009 for giving me the inspiration to improve my welding skills. Thanks Lance, I always watch your channel.